Hey, what's going on YouTube? Here's a five hour chart at the dollar. Now you can see all day, or last night, as gold and silver was bouncing, this was coming down, breaking down, but all day today it retraced, bearish retracement, and then now we got the new five hour uh, opening up on the downside. So it looks like a bearish retracement on a five hour chart, and it's going to continue down. And hopefully it'll allow um, tomorrow, Friday, allow gold and silver to uh, bounce. As this was held up all day as this bearish retracement for the dollar came through all day. As everything else was struggling to keep up. Um, caught some wind at the end of the day um, for the miners. But um, it looks like it's bearish. Uh, bearish retracement is complete. Now it can continue on its path on the downward side. So we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow's Friday, the close of the week, which is very important to me and um, very important to figure out where we're going to go for the rest of the uh, for the next week and the end of the month that's coming as well next week. But you can see how it got stopped out on the EMA 13 on the weekly. Um, let's see what kind of candle we get. It All week it hasn't done much. But it's been holding back. Um, this push has been holding back gold and silver the whole time. Obviously. Um, since the beginning of May we've started the retracements. Which is, you know this green candle beginning of May all the way up and now we're getting kind of stopped out I would um, I would think that this is going to be stopped out somehow uh, come down make a, a lower high come back at it again uh, eventually making its full bullish or bearish retracement back to the 34 SMA on a weekly chart so we'll see what happens um, it doesn't look nice on the five hour as that um, that line right here has one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, let's call it seven lines of support. Uh, so it's a big line of support and it could just break down as it already did. And it looks like it's going to be continuing as these long wicks are very easily filled uh, rapidly with price so expect the price to come all the way down to 94.94 and well maybe tomorrow I don't know but <clears throat> so far the next candle is bearish on the uh, dollar S&P just on its continuation um, from Monday I think it was Monday, Monday or Tuesday, whatever it was. Uh, right now, we for the day we did not uh, make a uh, we did not make a uh, a new high. We closed on the highs, but what you're seeing here is a hanging man. So look for on the S and P uh, previous low break, which is 2082, to confirm this. Uh, double top when it breaks down here um, look for support at 2067 let's just call that 2050 uh, that's too far 2060 but it's on the rise right now as you can see it's ticking up uh, right now it's making a hanging man on the daily chart for the new day tomorrow five hour chart I really like the five hour chart it shows a lot more uh, you can see the downward trend line break and it came all the way up looks like we got some hesitation consolidation um, looks like it it wants to break let's see if it makes another high and backs off uh, but we do have all this support on the way down so and we are above the 34 SMA on a five hour. 
So it just continues to look bullish there. Let's see what happens. Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to get some closing candles for the week. Um, for the week, or for the day on uh, the Dow, kind of didn't do anything. Um, it did break its downward trend line, popped above, but didn't make a new high. Didn't uh, it made a lower, a lower high, just like on the S and P um, for the daily charts. But um, it is above the 34 SMA. So it could be changing trend as it was falling apart and then it's somehow came all the way back up. And let's see tomorrow as the S&P is going to run all night and see if this uh, will gap above or gap down. Um, let's see. Yeah, the weekly on the S&P is just all week. Holding gold and silver all the way back. That looks like a bullish flat top brick coming. But we'll see. It needs confirmation first before any of this can uh, be called a flat top break. Flat top break is 2093. It's almost there. Let's see if it'll break uh, previous highs or um, come back into the pattern. Um. Who knows why it's going up like this, but um, <clears throat> I know there's a lot of economic data that is not not good. And sell in May, go away, all this other stuff. Uh, the bond market's having trouble. I just really don't understand why this is going up, especially from new lows. I mean, all the way from 1804. I mean, I figured it was going to do a bearish retracement and back off. But now we, we might be making new highs here soon. Who knows? Um, back to the Dow on a weekly. Bouncing and did what it was supposed to do. It even broke the downward trend line. Closing above today, breaking previous highs, confirming the bounce. Uh, just no rhyme or reason why, uh, other than the fact that we have higher lows off a double bottom. And it looks like just like the S&P trying to make new highs. So we'll see what happens. The month and the week is coming to a close here. So see what happens. Same with the NASDAQ. Um, sales are down across the board in technology, blah, 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 blah. Who knows why this is making a last ditch effort to make new highs. Um, yeah, just out of nowhere. I mean, that should, all this stuff in here should have been bearish, as I remember. Bearish retracement should have been stopped out and came down. Broke previous lows, kept kept going, and created uh, some kind of a whipsaw. But now we got a. Um, I mean, it looks like to me a flat top break coming, as it goes up to new highs, or near uh, previous highs, maybe back off, make a U, and then have a flat top break. Um, see what happens. On the weekly close, uh, the oil is making a falling star on a daily. Uh, it did reach this point, which was awesome. Um, pretty good guesswork on this one. As uh, where is it? As it did reach previous highs. Reached previous highs, backed off, made a reversal candle on the daily. But we'll see if that actually does close. Uh, th these candles always need confirmation. So look for previous low breaks. 
4929 or previous high breaks which was 5017 um, but you can see on a weekly how bullish these moves are across the 34 you got a double bottom uh, plus a, you know a, a hammer and then a um, inverted hammer came across bullish retraced flat top break boom uh, retraced and then retraced back to the eight and then another flat top break now here we are let's see if we can get all the way to 60 uh, we have a triple top here at 54 um, definitely above previous lows so now we need to break flat top breaks at 50 54 and then off to 60 so there we go uh, gold pretty stagnant I mean <clears throat> try to move down but it, it recovered blah 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 just really just didn't do anything much I don't it doesn't seem to me but you can see the breakdown you can see the candle right before the breakdown um, no retracement yet look for price to bounce and um, cover this gap that's the first thing we need to look for um, kind of the the price action on this last candle was kind of like an inverted hammer um, but not quite uh, let's see five hour you can see it tried to bounce and then it came down and there's that spinning top again which a lot of times that means a continuation in a down downward spiral so let's we'll see if it'll break down before uh, it looks like we opened up but uh, we got we do have higher lows coming in on gold we do have one shot across uh, the eight so look for a neck uh, a second shot uh, tomorrow let's see what happens uh, let's let's look at this on a narrow scale let's see a 15 minutes there's a hammer there's two hammers there's an inverted hammer right across the eight Here's a hammer working right now across the 34. So maybe we'll get another run tonight. Uh, 60 minute. Let's see if we can find anything. Uh, we're coming off a double bottom. Um, came across the 8. Made another double bottom. Came across. Made a lower high. And nothing much to see on 60 minute, but it is coming across here again. So we had one try across the 34. Let's see if we can get a second shot before the end of the week. Uh, silver, nice inverted hammer right there to end the day. Pretty cool. Inverted hammers aren't as bullish as regular hammers but it is signaling a soft bottom so we need more work but um, you can see the um, the pop into the eight and then backing off so let's see if we can get another one of those to get we need to consolidate above the eight and the 13 same on gold we need to consolidate above the 8 and the 13. Make a move across the 34. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find anything on silver. Not much. You got a double bottom on the late end of the day. You got lower highs coming in. Lower highs from all the way back on this hammer. That carried it across all the way up so now we're making lower highs silver looks good silver looks like it's it's 
consolidating. It's moving. It's doing the right things. We've got lower highs coming in. So look for a bounce here. We need to get above the 34, the EMA 8 and 13. Uh, let's see a target for the week. Could this be the bottom? I think if we get another bounce, and I think I I, I did this, I, I mentioned this before. We got these downturns, and late last Friday I was thinking, uh, I think I stated on my weekly review last Friday that we should see some kind of a down and, and see if we can get a hammer. So I'm going to stick with that still. Looks like we can uh, move this bottom up a few clicks. See if we can close above the EMA 8 and make a nice green solid hammer right across support. That's That would be awesome to see. Uh, GDX can have some trouble. Uh, we got a hanging man right above the uh, 34. Came down, bullish retraced, continued as the 8 and 13 are crossing. It smacked, uh, kissing the 2, and then backed off. So we might see continuation or maybe even a lower high. Depending on what gold and silver do all night will depict how this will open in the morning. Uh, right now it doesn't, it looks bearish. It's breaking across the 34 on a daily. Here we have lower highs. Here's that pattern again. So we did break up and now we came down, made a lower high. And now we're stuck. We need to get above obviously the 8 and the 13. Consolidate for the next week. And this gap is not filled yet. Partially filled. So let's look for that gap to be filled in the next uh, week. Um, oh yeah. Let's check a long-term close on this thing. We need to close above the EMA 8. That's prime. Otherwise, this hanging man is going to confirm for the week, and it may be bearish for a lot, long, lot, lot longer. So let's get a good close tomorrow. We got a close above the EMA 8, which is previous highs, basically 2304. Uh, between 20, between 23 and this triple bottom. 2040. So we've got a good 40 cents if we can make it tomorrow. GDXJ looks better. It is already above uh, the EMA 8, um, allowing this candle not to confirm yet. Uh, we do we do have a, a large bounce. Um, we've got a hold. Got to hold this area, maybe even get another punch above. Uh, hard to say, hard to say. What's going to happen tomorrow? Uh, 60 minute on this thing, it still needs to close that gap. And closing the day, we got a nice inverted hammer. So let's see if we can open nicely tomorrow. We've got a first bounce all the way into the 34. And let's see our second bounce. Uh, maybe even a breakthrough consolidation. But usually, oh, well, now wait a minute. <clears throat> we have uh, one breakthrough, one try, two tries. Let's see if this next try across the 34 will get us above so we can consolidate into bullish territory. That's what I'm shooting for on this one. All is all is in the balance at a close tomorrow for a weekly close. See if we can get above 35. 
on GDXJ. Uh, just to uh, rehash what happened today on Cliffs, CLF. Got some news today that in institutional buyers are, are buying this thing. All right, so we had a we had a huge breakout on this thing, and then thing retraced all the way back from its breakout. Here is the break right here. Retraced well well below that point. Uh, you can see the ac accumulation. You can see the the huge downturn. And then a, a gap down and run, but then you can see the accumulation in this area. You can see the bending. So it came across very nicely. Uh, it gapped open today, made a run for the gap, didn't close the gap. Oh uh, yeah, it let's just call, let's just say that it closed the gap. But then once it hit. Gaps are support and resistance lines. So here's here's resistance, here's support. So did we close above support? Uh, it's right there. I think a um, little after hours action, last point of sale, I think we closed at 35. So I think we did close above support. Look for this thing to uh, keep going. Um, Broke out and retraced after it crossed the EMA 13 and 8 on a daily. So it looks healthy. Uh, I think miners are going to be the uh, leading cause for any kind of bounce in gold and silver. Seems like. Seems like miners want to go higher and it's going to carry gold and silver with it. Uh, weekly close. Pretty nice. Uh, you can see very clearly the breakout above the 34 on a weekly chart and now the retracement back into support, which is our trend. And you can see on a weekly how it closed the gap and then came closed below. I wish we would have closed. Well, they painted the tape at the end of the day, so... Yeah, we still closed. Well, I think we closed right at the EMA 8 on a weekly chart. So let's see tomorrow a we'll close above the a definite close above the EMA 8 for a weekly close. Let's see if we can get above this area. Uh, definitely above the uh, resistance of that gap, which is 350. Um, ultimately, I would love to see a close this week above or at our previous high, which is 374. So just to recap on that, I don't own it myself, but I know uh, a few people that do. So um, there we go. I think that looks bullish. We got higher lows. Um, breaking previous highs. Uh, flat top break. Boom, where are we going to go? Let's see on a monthly chart, the potential is to $10. Pretty nice. Uh, I wish on a monthly chart we can close above four as, oh no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice bullish retracement all month long. <laughs> There we go. That's a nice chart. Nice. Uh, this is a, what you call a J curve um, bottom. J curve bottom. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, appreciate you guys. It's all comments. Um, some of the comments are a little extensive and uh, book written stuff. I, sometimes I kind of I phase out at the middle of the night. So. Forgive me if I can't gather what you're talking about right away, but um, um, come the morning, I read it again and figure it out. So uh, lots of good bounces coming. Let's just be patient. Um, like I said, weekly close tomorrow, which is uh, very important to me. Uh,
because I work off those weekly charts constantly. But uh, like I said, thanks for commenting. Um, please like, share, and um, tell your friends. I'll see ya.